What's up guys welcome back to another video. In this video we'll be taking a look at Android 12 beta 4.1 which I flashed on my OnePlus 5. Few days back I made a video on Android 12 beta 4 and most users like that. So today we'll take a look at Android 12 beta 4.1. At the end of video you'll also get to see installation guide. Before moving ahead guys we have 80% of users on a channel who haven't subscribed to it and they watch the videos. Guys it's a humble request do subscribe to our channel. it will help us grow in future and let's keep a like target on this video i'm not demanding much it's only a target of 150 likes and i know you guys will do it and now let's talk about this android 12 beta 4.1 first let me show you the software information and here you can see android version is android 12 with beta 4.1 we get august security patch and the build number is SPB4.210715.014. I went through the comments of our previous video of Android 12 Beta 4, where user were complaining issues about few things. We'll cover them also in this video. First, let me tell you, Android 12 Beta 4.1 doesn't bring any kind of new features. There were few bug fixes which have been done. These were the release notes from Google for Android 12 Beta 4.1. in which they have fixed issues like vpn random reboots or device doesn't boot up an issue of granting permission of nearby devices gsi images are not completely stable you'll always find issues in few stuff you can just give it a try to have a taste of android 12 but won't recommend you guys as a daily driver talking about the benchmark results android 12 beta 4.1 on my oneplus 5 scored 379 with single core and 1400 with multi core exactly same scores which i got it on oxygen os 10.0.1 with antutu benchmark application device scored 255425 way higher scores than oxygen os 10.0.1 one of the major thing which people had commented about was related to geo sim card so let me clear one thing geo sim card won't work if you flash gsi image that's an issue with almost all the gsis so volti is not working if you have any other sim cards like atel that will obviously work but you won't have volti support so here i'm using two sim cards one is geo and the second one is atel and atel sim card is working fine geo have few issues sometimes i get network and sometimes i don't though with the network also I wasn't able to make calls due to non availability of Volti services. Mobile data also doesn't work, so we always had to use the Wi-Fi to have a working internet connection. Other than that, don't expect alert slider to be working fine on any kind of GSI. But one good thing about OnePlus 5 series is that now we can have working fingerprint unlock. And that seems to be pretty fast, no issues in unlocking the device with fingerprint unlock. Face unlock feature is not available. To lock your device, you can use stuff like pin, password, or fingerprint. And device doesn't have any kind of issues in fast charging. You won't get to see call recording feature in the stock dialer app. No issues to be seen with any kind of sensors like accelerometer, light, proximity, magnetometer, compass, and gyroscope. All these sensors are working fine. But there's another problem which users had reported on our previous video, and that's related to Bluetooth devices. And yes, guys, there's an issue with Bluetooth. I'll try to fix these issues like Bluetooth and Volti services. Once I'm able to fix it, I'll release a new video on the same. Overall performance of Android 12 Beta 4.1 on my OnePlus 5 is pretty great. Don't see much of lags or jitters while using it. As said, there are few bugs which are present here and there, and that makes this Android 12 Beta 4.1 unusable as a daily driver. Media works fine with no issues in audio or video quality. Another issue what users were reporting was related to the GPS, but I personally did not found any kind of issues with the GPS on Android Beta 4 or even 4.1. GPS seems to be working fine on my device. I'll try to fix Bluetooth services and Volti services. If I'm able to do, I'll do a dedicated video on that. Basically, this room cannot be used as daily driver, and that's not specific to OnePlus 5. Most of the GSIs can't be used as daily driver. It's just you can have a taste of latest Android from Google, nothing else. Still, if you guys want to install this GSI, you can continue to watch the installation guide. Before installing, make sure you are running Oxygen OS on your OnePlus 5 or 5T, in which latest version is Oxygen OS 10.0.1. And after that, you should have a custom recovery. I'll recommend Orange Fox recovery. All the links can be found in the description below. You can download the files if you want. Once you have recovery on your device later you need few files one is the CR droid room then patch file system image file this is android 12 beta 4.1 and nowhere it is zip file before installing android 12 first we need to flash the latest version of CR droid select the zip file and swipe to install 
installation might take around 2 to 3 minutes once you have successfully flashed the room which is cr droid go back go to wipe section and from here we need to wipe caches dalvik caches system and data do not wipe internal storage because we have files there and also avoid wiping vendor swipe to wipe once this is done go back and from here now we'll flash the android 12 system image selecting this select system image swipe to install image this will hardly take 10 to 15 seconds once done now we'll flash the patch zip file and at last know where it is zip after flashing these files successfully go to wipe section and from here tap on format data type yes and hit this tick mark now just reboot your system and you'll have android 12 beta 4.1 on your oneplus 5 or 5t and here we have the boot animation of android 12 so guys this was a quick look and installation guide of android 12 beta 4.1 as said if i'm able to fix volte and bluetooth services i'll come up with a new video meanwhile if you have any kind of questions let me know in the comment section below this is your friend ashok signing out see you guys in the next video